Hey Divination, welcome to our brand new mini-series, 5 Impressive Gallery Layouts and How to Use Them. Galleries are one of the most important web design tools today. So whether you are a photographer, graphic designer or a business owner that wants to showcase their portfolio, the DV Gallery module does a very good job of that. The goal of this mini-series and all our mini-series is to provide you with free, fun and practical web design exercises that will improve your mastery of the DV WordPress theme one day at a time. By the end of today's quick tip, we're going to get a tiled gallery with custom padding like you see in this final result. So when we mouse over these images, you can see we have an overlay and also we have this zoom icon in gray. Now all these settings are going to be done throughout this tutorial. So before we get started, let's go through the assets you're going to need to achieve this design. So the first thing you're going to need is the CSS code, which I'll link in the show notes below. Secondly, we're going to need images. Now, the images we're going to use are from a website called unsplash.com. Make sure you don't just use uh, images that you find on the internet because you could fall into copyright issues. Now, the best size for these images are 1200 by 1000 pixels. However, you can have whatever size you need that fits your design. And also, make sure that you optimize these images because if you use the, these images straight from the camera they are too big and this may slow down your website okay let's get started let's dive into the wordpress um, admin and let me show you how we managed to build this so the first thing we need to do is to create a new page so i'm going to go to pages add new and i'm going to call this page gl2 and then i'm going to click use the div builder and then i'm going to go ahead and use the visual builder here i need to add a single row and also add the gallery module so i'm going to click on the gallery module so here we're not going to do uh, much what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and save and then we're going to revisit this stage once we get to the point where we're adding all the images so i'm going to go ahead and click on save changes now we need to go into the row settings so i'm going to click the gear icon and with the gear icon on, the main change we're going to make here is on this custom gutter width. So this is what determines the space between the images. So if I click zero, it means that all the images are going to have no space between them. So that's exactly what we need. And then finally, we just need to make sure that keep custom padding on mobile is set to on because we really need this gallery to look nice on mobile devices. Okay, so now that we have that in place, we're going to go ahead and save. Now we need to go into the gallery module settings. So I'm going to click the gear icon to access the settings. So the first thing we're going to do here is to make sure that we um, update the gallery. So I'm going to click on update gallery. Now I have all my images uploaded into my media library. So all I have to do now is to select them. These are a total of 12 images. So once I've selected all of them, I'm going to click on add to gallery and then update gallery. So now these are the images that make up the gallery so as you can see we have four here but uh, ideally we need to show the 12 so we need to change the number here to 12. okay so that's all our images now to make this layout really look nice where well, we need to hide the, uh, the the title and the caption and also the pagination needs to be set to no okay so that's looking really good so now let's go into um the design settings now before i go there can you see that uh, that setting that we had earlier on to remove the spaces between the images has really taken effect now so there's absolutely no spaces between these images okay so let's go into the design mode so in the design mode we need to make sure that our zoom icon color is set to 60 60 60. okay and then when we mouse over these images we need to have um an overlay. So um, the color overlay we're going to use here is, let's bring it down to about not 0.7. Okay, so you can adjust this and make sure that you have it to your own uh, setting. But the ideal situation is when you mouse over these images, it needs to show a bit of the image in the uh, which is in the background. Okay, so that's uh, a decent transparency. All right, so the icon we need here is this zoom icon. So I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to test it. So here you can see that gray is really coming through. So that's really good. Okay, so um, 
that's all we need uh, on this. So the next thing we're going to do now is to add the CSS, which is going to create this tile um, look. So we're going to click on the CSS tab and we need to make sure that we come here to the gallery item and paste this CSS code. So now you can see that it's updated and it's really looking nice. So once you're done with that, click on save changes and then you can go ahead uh, down here to expand settings and this is where you get to publish the page. And that's the final design of the gallery. So that does it for this quick tip. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. We will be producing daily video quick tips similar to what you've seen today. So until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.